My name is Zach Brandt and I will be going over our Activity Importer Plus product. A little bit about CSI. We have been an authorized IMS solution provider since 1992 and we are the leading provider of add-on products to the IMS community. Activity Importer Plus allows the end user to import unique activities from Excel or other supported file types. It also allows for the creation of activities from an IQA query. In addition, with the optional gift importer license, it allows you to import gifts into IMS, including all of the financial aspects of the gift. Now let's take a look at what Activity Importer Plus can do. We are about to begin a dues campaign at our organization and I have created a list of members that I would like one of my volunteers to call. I have included the ID, the name, and the phone number for each of these members, and I would like the volunteer to fill in the rest of the spreadsheet, including the dates that they called them, any notes from their call, as well as any follow-up date or who that follow-up might be assigned to. I am then going to take the information from the spreadsheet that the volunteer will give me back and I'm going to import those as call activities using Activity Importer Plus. To open up Activity Importer Plus, I'm going to go to the CSI Programs folder where I will find both the user guide as well as the actual product. I'm going to log in using my IMS credentials and then I'm going to browse out to the spreadsheet that my volunteer had sent me back. If we first take a look at the spreadsheet that the volunteer has given us back, we will see that they have filled out the spreadsheet that we gave them and added the date from their call, any notes from their call, as well as a possible follow-up date and who that follow-up might be assigned to. So now if we go back and we open that file with Activity Importer Plus, you'll notice that because we have the first rows containing column headings, and we have this box checked, it has brought in all of the column names. We are then going to go to the next screen. We are going to pick the call activity type and then we're going to proceed to map any fields from our spreadsheet to the fields in this activity type. So we're going to use ID for ID, the date called from date, notes from call for note, assigned to, and then follow up date. If we used other fields for this activity type, such as a user defined field, we could actually click the show all fields button and we would be able to see those. At this point we have three options. We could insert all of these as new activities. We could insert them with validation, meaning insert these as new activities only if the exact same activity doesn't exist, or we could update any existing activities. In this case, I'm just going to want to create new activities, so I'm going to use the Insert option, and then I'm going to click Import. It has created 20 new activity records, and it's asked if I'd like to view the report. If we take a look at it, it will show you the activities for the IDs that it has created. Now if we head over to IMUS, and we look at record 207, we can see the activity that we just created. Here's the activity, including the notes from that call, who it was assigned to, and what the follow-up date was. Now let's say I wanted to create some activities based off of the results of an IQA query. If we go back to Activity Importer Plus and we select the Select an IQA Query tab, this will pull up your IQA list. I've created an IQA for past registrants that are not yet registered for the current event. If I select this query, I want to look up anyone that has previously registered for the NIAG event but not registered for the current one. It yields four results. I'm going to click Save and then Next. And I would like to schedule a call activity for these results. I would like to pick call for the activity type and then I'm going to map fields from the IQA query results into the rest of the activity uh, in Activity Importer Plus. 
So I'm going to use ID for ID. For notes, instead of mapping something from the IQA results, I'm going to actually type in a hard note, which will apply to all of the activities. Call and see why not registered. I'm going to assign this to manager, and I'm going to make the follow-up date 3-1-2015. You notice that the green field is something that was mapped from the IQA, where the yellow fields are something that was hard-coded to apply to every activity. I'm going to import and create these as new activities. It's created four new records. So if we look at record 152 in IMAS, we will see the activity that we just created and who it was assigned to and the date that we assigned it. For current pricing on any of the CSI add-on products, please contact CSI or your authorized IMAS solution provider. All CSI products come with one year of free unlimited support and product updates. Annual software update fees are 20% of the then current product price and those are billed annually. Any client that's current on their software update fees will continue to receive unlimited support and product updates. If you are a member of NIAG, you are eligible to qualify for a 5% discount on any of the following products. Activity Importer Plus, Freeze, Freight Rate Importer, iDocument, iDonate, iImport, I map, I merge, I move, meeting closer, and page filter. If you purchase two or more of the above products at the same time, you qualify for an additional 5% discount. If you have any questions or would like more information on any of these products or are interested in purchasing any of these products, you can contact your authorized solution provider or you can contact CSI. Our phone number is 630-681-1100 or you can email sales at csiinc.com. You could also visit our website at www.csiinc.com or you could look for our product videos on YouTube by just searching Computer System Innovations. Thanks and have a great day.